Yeah, I was born on a couch in the neighborhood Christiania. The same couch my little sister and my older sister are born on. Christiania is a very special and unique place. Um, it's the name of the neighborhood I grew up in. In 1971, an army base in central Copenhagen was uh, abandoned and, uh, and, the, and the area got squatted basically by students and homeless people and criminals and vagrants of the worst sort. The neighborhood basically uh, got itself together and kicked out all the hard drugs, so uh, only soft drugs remained. So we now have one of the only neighborhoods in the world that is uh, run by itself. It's fairly autonomous. We don't have a police force. We don't have what other neighborhoods have. What we have is conversation. Most people don't get to film in our pusher street, but I do. I just basically go down there and I tell the guys, the drug dealers, I say, hey, I'm just gonna do a few photos with my boys over here. Can I have a couple of you guys to be uh, like stand-ins at the, the barrel with fire over here? So yeah, they're all real, they're real life thugs. Mama said that it was okay. Smoking weed is not a, uh, it's not happen, it doesn't happen more in Christiania than outside. One third of the adult population of Denmark consume it regularly, that means once a month. Um, I think it's a, probably a Danish thing. We are, we are the liberal little brother in Europe, um, the first country to legalize gay marriage, uh, gay adoption. I think there is a small thing in Christiania, in my neighborhood, that because it's easy to get a hold of weed, more kids maybe try it. I think I was 12 the first time I tried it. Several of my, my closest childhood friends never tried it, never have, never will. Um, so you can say proximity to something also generates the opposite response. 